Hello and welcome to the 1000 Curiosities channel. My name is Christian and today's episode is about crickets. Crickets, locusts and grasshoppers are part of the large family of the hoppers of the insect world, being included in the saltatorial order which encompasses about 20,000 species spread around the temperate and warm areas of the globe. The cricket is an insect from the family Grillidae. There are over 1,000 species of crickets in the world, being divided into groups based on their morphology and type of habitat. They can survive in different habitats, forests, plains, meadows, caves and rocky areas, some of them living beneath the ground. Crickets can also be divided into two categories, house crickets and plain crickets. Both have a short and thick body, their head with long antennae and large eyes. The house cricket is up to 2 cm long, yellow brownish with 3 dark strips on its head and eats almost anything it can find in the kitchen. The plain cricket lives in the wild, can reach 2.5 cm or 1 inch in length and is almost black with brown hues. It feeds on succulent plants, tobacco, potatoes, peas and garden plants, being considered a pest. There are also cave crickets, which can be considered atypical for their species. They have very small eyes, adapted to the darkness, they don't fly, and their body has antennae and whiskers, almost four times larger than their body size, with which they navigate and locate their food. The approximately 200 species of cave cricket, that are spread all around the globe, spend all their life beneath the ground, feeding on bat excrements, hibernating butterflies, fungus or other smaller cricket species. Most crickets are found in the wild. Since they cannot fly, sometimes, due to the loss of their natural habitat, they disappear along with it. Because of this, many crickets are among the endangered species. The cricket's body is made up of abdomen, antennae, churchy, composite eyes, simple eyes, head, jumping legs, ovipositor, thorax and wings. The life of a cricket is made up of three stages, egg, nymph and adult. The female lays between 50 and 100 eggs in the ground at a depth of between 6 and 25 millimeters, between the end of April and beginning of May. After two weeks, the nymphs hatch. The second stage is the period after the hatching and until the nymph becomes an adult. Immediately after they hatch, the nymphs have the same size as the eggs. They look like the adult crickets, but don't have wings. They shed while they grow, this period being between 8 and 12 weeks. The third stage is the longest, the main goal of the adult cricket being to feed, to reproduce and to sing. An adult cricket lives between 2 and 3 months. A cricket has 3 pairs of legs. These are very efficient for skipping. The front and middle legs are short, while the back legs are longer than their entire body and are very strong. The cricket has 2 pairs of wings. The external wings are thick and hard and are used to protect the second pair of wings, which are transparent. Most crickets do not fly, but they travel using long jumps. However, some species completely lack wings. The famous cricket song is created by the rubbing of the thick wings. It is not really a song, but rather a chirp. The scientific name for this chirp is stridulation. It is produced by the male when there is friction between its wings. There are various reasons for the cricket's stridulation. They want to impress female or even communicate with other crickets. Their songs can help with the identification of their species. It is considered a blessing in Europe and America. The Chinese used to consider the cricket a creature that foretells the good and said that the family who had crickets in their house was lucky. That's why crickets had become like pets for them. On top of that, the cricket's song amazed the world of science with the discoveries that were made. 
composer Jim Wilson recorded the cricket sound and slowed it down and this experiment exceeded his expectations. Crickets sound like a human choir, an angelical choir in perfect harmony. When the recording is slowed down at different levels, this simple familiar sound starts to turn into something very mystical and complex, declares Jim Wilson. This wonder of nature was named God's Choir. This is what the cricket song sounds like when it's slowed down. Another sensational discovery was that a cricket can be considered a natural thermometer. It was discovered that the sounds produced by the cricket can be counted and as such we can find out the temperature outside. We count how many stridulations it emits in a 15 second interval and we add 40, thus obtaining the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. In order to find the temperature in Celsius, we count stridulations in an 8 second interval and add 5. The cricket transmits the temperature of the place it finds itself at that moment. The natural enemies of the cricket are birds, mice, bats, frogs, snakes, spiders, lizards, but mostly humans. A United Nations report informed that in the future, the insects could save humans from hunger, especially in the underdeveloped countries. Crickets are considered edible insects and can be a good source of protein, according to the UN. Even though many people do not agree with this, crickets have long been considered a delicacy in certain parts of the world. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Would you consider eating crickets or other insects or do you frown at the very thought of it? Please leave a comment below. My name is Christian and until the next video, all the best.